We're introducing the GRS-16, the best guide rail square on the market today, or for that matter, even the best square compared to anything that has been announced but not yet shipped. A five second setup and CNC machined accuracy combined uh, beat the old way of doing things, relying on the slop of T-slots and having to have a secondary square and then checking it again and not being able to trust it even after that. What makes this the best guide rail square either available for shipment now or promised for the future by some suppliers is the fact that what makes it square is inherent in the tool itself. This is where the squareness is. It's CNC machined precision. There is nothing else to adjust to get it to be square. That's the first feature. The second feature we rely on is the parallel and straight edge on every guide rail that we match up with. Festool, Makita, Triton, any others that are shaped like that. And last but not least, it's held in alignment with a powerful draw latch. And there is nothing to check, but if you want to ascertain that, yes, it's really good, you can see that there is zero clearance between the guide rail and the edge of the tool, the 90 degree edge. Simple, easy, and fast. If we go through the installation routine, you can see why we call this the five second square. It's 21, 22, 23, and you've got two seconds left. There we are, square. The beauty in this thing is that not only is it fast, but there's nothing to do on the bottom, no knobs to turn, there are no loose parts. And as you can see, the bottom of it is completely smooth. So if you're sliding this across your workpiece, you're not going to mar any existing finished surface. No loose parts, no tools required. And of course, uh, it's designed to also fit the Makita as well as the Triton brand guide rails. Same process. Less than five seconds on, less than five seconds off. Now, when you're done cutting and you want to put the tool away, you simply remove it. And if you choose to store it in a sustainer, you'll be glad to know that it's made to fit in the sustainer one.